Howdy all, this is Texas Gaming Industries here, and welcome to another episode of my Let's Play of Transport Fever 2. In the previous episode, we finally finished up on the map Sao Paulo by delivering the necessary coffee beans from Brazil over to Italy. After so long and so much guessing on the ships arriving at the ports. And in this episode, we're going to continue on with the special campaign as we head towards our next adventure. Exposition Universal. So let's head to the campaign and learn what this is all about. Mankind is constantly creating amazing new inventions. Get involved in rapid... In 1919, the Paris, 1889. The 100th anniversary of the French Revolution. To commemorate this, the French government is organizing another World's Fair. A time to celebrate 100 years of progress and to get France back on the world stage. So, our next one is basically to help France, well, Paris, France, get ready for the one, for basically 100 years of French progress and help to get the World's Fair all set up for the vendors. Our bonus tasks are locked. We got the mods already set up. So, let's start off this adventure and head to France. Paris, 1889. The 100th Anniversary of the French Revolution To commemorate this, the French government is organizing another World's Fair. A time to celebrate 100 years of progress and to get France back on the world stage. You'll have to make sure all the necessary goods arrive at the construction site. so that Paris will once again play host to the world. The French Revolution happened exactly a century ago. A time to celebrate 100 years of progress. The Universal Exposition will get France back on the world stage. But before we do that, welcome to France. As you can see, our map is quite big as we have a lot of towns and a lot of basic you-know-whats realistic land based off of the real map. But we're n it's just not France on its own. Right here is the United Kingdom, as well as some other countries as well, such as Luxembourg, Metz, Strasbourg, Mulhaus, and several other French towns. But however, we basically need to work on building this little area into well, the site for the big celebration. So, let's figure out what our next first step is. We need building materials to construct the exposition. Transport enough stones to Paris so that the construction material factory can produce the necessary construction materials. Make sure they arrive at the construction site. So our first task is very simple. We need to deliver stone to produce building materials and then bring them to the, to the construction site, which is called Paris Exposition Supply 1. And the nearby stone quarry is located right next to the town of Torres and Chalmont, as well as near the town of Dijon. But first and foremost, we need to get a system set up so we can start earning money to not only help the residents of France, but also to earn us money so we can buy new equipment and expand our operations later on. First of all, we will need a train station. Let's see. Go for 240 meter, and we'll place the station right down here. Actually, I just realized I did not add the mods in, so I'm going to be right back. And we're back. Now with the mods installed, it is time to get started. First of all, there's a new set of tracks that I installed for the game. These are special French tracks, which comes in three varieties. Abandoned, medium service, with a maximum speed of 37, and high speed, which is used at 99 miles an hour. Of course, I also modified 
added the special common API to basically make my stations a little bit bigger. As well as making them a little more grander as well. Just basically got to connect this here. Hmm. Probably to get rid of these side buildings and place down the much bigger ones. Actually, no. I think it looks fine as it is. Anyway, <clears throat> now we just need to lay down some track. And I'm out of money. Great. I forgot to mention that each particular mission starts you off with only a million credits. That's basically not enough for you to start off with a good transportation system. Unless you do some buses or something like that. Anyway, I need to change this to French International Transportation Company. As we're not only going to be operating transport in France, we're also going to be doing it in other countries that's nearing France. Hmm, let's see, where should I put this? This looks like a good spot. I'll just place my HQ up on this little hill. Use the air, use some of my keys to lower it down and place it there. It'll grow eventually in time, but for right now, I got a station to construct. Alright, that's the main platforms built, especially for the express trains and the bypass tracks for freight. I now have to build an extra set of platforms for my local trains that will make a stop here. Perfect. We'll place down some of those and also add some station rooms. But this is the main station of my railway after all, so it needs to basically be a little more bigger. So I'll be using this 1850 Pyrage station over here just to make it a little more pretty. Yeah, sometimes these roofs can be a bit of a pain to work with. Alright. We shall also call this Petrol Central <laughs> Paris Central Station. And now let's basically start expanding the line from Rems and over the rivers to Toys and build a branch line to connect to the Sandstone line. We'll build a siding nearby here to drop off the loads of supplies for the construction site. But they also, but Paris also needs clothing as well as machinery. Clothes and machines. Yep. And there's a pretty big market for all that. We'll build out of Paris and sweep to the left. Build up. And then just expand the line as I see fit. Hmm. Now I have to get some room to place down the station here at Rems. Oh! I actually placed down a 320 instead of a 2. well, 240 meter station. 
Oh well, bigger the better, I suppose. We'll place the station a little bit outside of town, so there'll be ample room for my track. Place down another set of platforms. And once we have these two stations connected by rail, we can finally start operations on some passenger trains. Primarily a local service. Now in order for me to expand my line, I'll have to basically build a tunnel. Or better yet, just car through this thing hill right here for just a tiny bit. Add this concrete style tunnel bore. Adjust it so it will automatically connect make it even with the other track. And then just simply connect these two together. Build a track out, but then we'll have to basically build some tracks for the passenger for the local trains to go through. Let's see. Hmm. That'll do. And they're not the right tunnel. Board. There we go. Much better. Actually, hmm. Wonder if I'm able to basically get it to go straight. Yeah, that'll do. There we go. And another cutting, and then simply loop the track up. Of course, I want my trains to have a good speed as they, as they exit the line. Oh, that does not look good. I'm redesigning that section. It looks darn ugly. Alright. That'll do. Let's see, let's just leave some of this track, and then connect this. Make that into a cutting, and then connect. Perfect. First two towns have finally been connected on the map. But there's still plenty of stations I still want to connect to, and tons of transport is needed. Because, since the London Paris is a large city, I could get a lot of passengers riding my local and my express trains. With that out of the way, we can now start expanding towards the next destination, towards Rennes. I'll have to build a bridge over the river, which wouldn't be too difficult. However, I have to be very wary on where I place my bridges, as some of the goods can actually be ferried down the river into Paris, and then transferred by ship to a road vehicle to bring it to town. If I'm not careful, I could basically block a potential route. It'll go over this bridge. Do 
that. Build and build. Do that and do this. Not what I was expecting either, but if it works, it works. Let's see. Connect. Perfect. Alright. Oh, I better get the rest of the tracks in Paris finished. There we go. We'll do the same here. Do that. All right. That looks good. We'll finish the rest of the main line, as I want passengers to be able to travel from one end of the map all the way to Le Havre, as well as having another express head to Calais, where they can catch a ferry service to travel to Dwevs to Dwevs in Great Britain. Because at this time, the Chanel, the Channel Tunnel between England and France was not even a thing. So the only way for people to travel between England and France was via a ship across the English Channel. Plus, that town in Britain does want some commodities that's only available in this particular region of the game. Well, not region of the game, particular region of the map. Because there are going to be a couple of unique industries that's only going to appear here. And we could basically export those goods to other countries if needed. Alright. We'll finish the main line in the next video. But for now, we're basically going to continue expanding our tracks towards the sandstone quarry. And that will basically do it for this episode. It's a bit of a grade, but nothing too serious for my trains. A little bit of a flattened crest. Turn to the right. And just pass by this particular farm. That farm will come important very later. I also want to see if I could... Nope, I don't have any other crossings available. Despite the fact I have one set in my mods. We'll build another bridge over the river. And curve off to the left. Let's see. Since I don't want the station to be too close to basically any particular roadway, I'll place the station a little bit farther out. That way, I can set up a bus route to bring passengers to the station to catch their trains. Let's see. Let's place down a couple more platforms. Several more track. That and that. Alright, the next station is finished. We'll place down the underground walkway so my passengers can reach their designated platforms. Place down a couple of roofs to make sure the passengers don't get drenched in the sun or by rain or any elements of the weather. Same here at Rems. Let's see.
I'll be saving this one for the for this section of the map, and this one for the ones near the two ports of Calais and Le Havre. Alright, that looks good. Here's the thing about lane crossings in this game. Sometimes you basically date down a double track on a road. Next thing you know it, that section of road basically comes a little bit higher than the other section. Sometimes I have to basically replace, repair that on my own. Fortunately, since the two crossing posts are quite close to each other, they could still be a four track crossing despite there's a gap between them. Let's see. Convert this to a land, well, a f earth fill, and then just simply basically smooth this out. Connect and connect. Perfect. Now for the extension down. I'll build a track to the left to connect to Shalmont, and the track to the right to connect to the Stone Quarry. N wait, not sa Stone Quarry, Sandstone Quarry. Alright, connect here. 60, 60, let's see, that'll do, connect, and then basically build another crossing over loop, here and here, and now it's time to build a substance. The secondary track that leads to Dijon. It'll curve off to the. It'll curve off here. It will still be double track, but I'll have a small branch line to serve the quarry. Which will be right after going through this tunnel. Yeah, I am not basically making an odd looking cut. Alright, let's move that land out just a bit, okay, place down a curved switch, add a little bit straight, and make a gentle, make a gentle gray down. Let's see. Alright, that'll do. As long as my industries are, well, as long as the industries are super close to a nearby station, they'll automatically transfer goods from the industrial product, will transfer their goods from here onto my platforms if there's a route and vehicles designed to carry those specific cargo. We'll put the slip switch in, and that basically will do it for our first sections of track for this railway. So, if you enjoyed this episode of Let's, uh, Let's Play a Transport Fever 2, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to Texas Gaming Industries for new video uploads every Friday or Saturday, depending on my outside schedule. And, as always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye!